couple of housekeeping things. If you're on Twitter, make sure you use the hashtag Podstock12. If you're not, that's okay. I'll still be your friend um, in real life, too. But if you need help signing up for Twitter, of course, let me know, and I'll get help you to start. Anyway, I am Andrea Keller, and I am from Irving, Texas. Well, actually, Woo! I'm from Amarillo, Texas, but I teach in Irving now. Um, I teach children with disabilities in a K through five self-contained classroom. So I have children with autism, children with Down syndrome, children with intellectual disabilities. Um, but several years ago, I started using brain pop. Have you guys used brain pop before? Oh my goodness, brain pop is awesome. So. I just met them at TCEA, which is our big technology conference that we have in Texas. And I said, oh my goodness, I love using Brain Pop with my students. I said, and they're like, really, you do? And so we kind of talked back and forth. So then I had a chance to become the special education advisor for Brain Pop. So if you see, if you follow me on Fork or Twitter, this is my picture, because how cool is that? I have my own Brain Pop picture. <laughs> um, anyway, so today though, we're going to go through my live binder. Have you guys used Live Binder? Yes. Yay! Well, we went through my Live Binder. Of course, um, it's really easy to Google Brain Pop and Brain Pop Junior and Game Up and Lord of Labyrinth, but I have all the all of my Live Binder, so you can grab it real fast. So if you have your computer up, awesome. Um, if you have your iPad up, some of the stuff is flash based that we'll look at, so you might not be able to get all of it. Um, but I'll definitely will. Did you know that there's a new Brain Pop Junior app? And it's free. It just came out at ISTE, so three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So if you are on a laptop, you can check out the Brain Pop Live Binder, and the tiny URL is this right here, tinyurl.com slash brainpop dash o dash rama. Let me make that a little bigger. Annie and Moby, and I've actually met the little Annie, and so it's really crazy. I kind of 
kind of stalks them too. Anyway, so um, what's really cool about Brain Hop Jr. though is that whenever you roll over anything, it reads it for you. Health notebook. Social studies notebook. Science notebook. Which is really convenient, especially for your ES. <laughs> so apparently he's looking at the science notebook. Um, well, it's really great for even your ESL kids. It'll read it to you or your lower language um, learners. So every week they do have, now Brain Pop is, does cost, but they also have a lot of ton of free um, materials that are available. So they have a movie of the week. things about movie of the week is that you can make it closed caption. Just by pushing the little closed caption button right there. Hey Moby. I'm labeling words that have short vowel sounds. You know, like glasses and suck. You can also, of course, make the movie bigger. Glasses and socks. <laughs> nice hat, Bobby. What is a vowel? And if you notice... The letters A, oh, E, A. Whenever it said, what is a vowel, when she asked a question, your, um, your pause line... Nice hat, light, Bobby. Well, what actually, is a vowel? It tells you when you should pause and actually pause and actually talk about the movie, which is kind of nice. That's why I can be like, I, you know, watch what they're doing and then I can stop the movie and pause and then go back and play it after we talked about it. Another really cool thing about Brain Pop Jr. is it has this little button right here and this one's new. It's related links. So if I push on related links, it's going to bring up related topics to this specific um, movie, which is very convenient. But down here at the bottom, they have games, game, activities, activity page, belly up, belly up. is really fun. Belly up is a little like comic strip. It's like this one says, what are some words that use short vowels? Well, I don't know. No, those words don't have short vowels. Because no freak, I mean I really don't know. Nope, try again. Stop it! Quit it! And what I've done with this actually is because in my classroom, most of my students are low verbal and nonverbal. I've actually printed these off and then widened out this area right here and let the kids fill in their own comic strip that had to do with um, whatever, we were, whatever we were talking about. And actually, I did this, I think in March or February, and I and one of my students was so excited. He's like, look, Miss Keller. He goes, will you show this to Moby? So I went to the TCEA and Moby was there. And I was like, would you hold this, this picture so he can see that, that Moby got to see it? And so I took it back. And he was like, oh my gosh, Moby saw my work. And he was really excited. <laughs> but you can print. Um, they have the word wall word, which is another great thing because all these read them to you. So you scroll over. Consonant. Click on it. A letter in the alphabet that is not a vowel. How convenient is that? And you can also print these off. Um, on Fridays we have we do our word wall books. So my kids. Talk about them. <laughs> I know, but I want you to play in this. It's okay. So in my um, in our on Fridays we have our word wall books, and so I have these printed out. We usually do like brain clock media week, and I have them printed out, and they glue them into their notebooks. Andrea, how much does it cost? You know, I'd have to look at the exact price. What we're looking at right now actually is completely free. Um, I have to go in and, and look. I want to say it's I'm based, not. Huh? It's based on school. It's based on school, school and license. how many. You buy a side license, license for so many seats or so many lab time. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I can't think of, and it might not be. You know, I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell you wrong. I know we pay for on-site 995 for a subscription. Right. It's pretty. It's pretty compare. It's pretty comparable, and it's totally. Um, so 
I said, well, we'll look at, we'll look at price. And you can also do a hard quiz and easy quiz. This is another one that you can either print it off or you can take it together. Um, and it's another one too, it'll read the questions for you. You can do a paper quiz or an online quiz. Which letter is a vowel? M. O. So you can do a little quiz. And then you have some documentation that you've, um, what you've been working on. And the kids can print off the little certificate at the end saying how much they've actually, um, how much they actually got right. Um, one of my favorite things is the Papa joke, because I like jokes. And you can actually, there's even a little widget you can add to your blog. So if you go to my blog, there's a brain pop Papa joke every day, which is kind of funny. But my kids love Papa um, joke. Because my kids do have. Why is <coughs> you the happiest vowel? So why is you the happiest vowel? Because it's always a vowel. Because it's in the middle of fun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but my kids, like I said, I teach them with disabilities. So sometimes they have a hard time with jokes or getting sarcasm. So what a great little way for us to work on telling appropriate jokes that would be appropriate for the classroom. And they also have draw about it and they have write about it and um, hard quiz. Read about it. So these are all different activities that you can do along with whatever um, you're modeling. So the free stuff free though, stuff. these movies are free. The movie of the week is free. All of the games on Brain Pop Junior are free. Standards tool. There's lesson, lesson ideas. Idea. All the word wall words, all of those are free. So there is a lot of ton of free activities that are already built into Brain Pop Junior. So of course the subscription is awesome because then you get even more, but there are a lot of free available tools right there. Um, you can also search. So this is what we did, and we talked about we were talking about plants. And so this is what we did, and we actually do a lot of different activities on top of whatever's on. Brain pop, because yes, my kids love that six minute movie, but I want to actually have more on top of that. So we have created, once we watch the movie, this is one of our, our classroom books. This one's our plants. And so the kids had to then create their own plant from the activity that you could print off. And then they had to tell me my plant is short, or that's well, also short, but they also had to give me descriptive words, and I could bind it and put it in my classroom, and they had a book that's ready to read for my students that they help do, which is fantastic. We've also done graphing. There's ones on, we've worked on healthy eating and unhealthy eating. So we worked on guesses. So they had to choose if this would be healthy or unhealthy. So there's great ways where you can go in and search. You can go in, like I said, buy, buy the different notebooks and decide what kind of um, thing you want to work on. If you want a math one, you can go into math. If you want a science one, you can go into science. And what's really cool about Brain Pop is the standard stuff. Bulletin board. Because some, oh, bulletin board, sorry. Because sometimes a uh, principal will walk into your classroom and then they'll be like, Free. okay, why are you showing a movie? This is a six minute long cartoon. Why are you showing this? Well, you know what? Everything St is standard. So if you can search by standards for states, by subject, or by grade. And then I'll go in and I'll say what movie you should watch and what standard it's going to go with. So you can tell your principal, you can put that on your lesson plans, because I know we have to have all that stuff. So if we want to do subjects, let's do language arts, second grade. We'll do Kansas since we're in Kansas. That's really good. So, it's got my state standard, 
essential knowledge and skills, established purpose for reading selected text based upon content to enhance comprehension, and it's got all the different movies that would go along with that. Yes? Andrew, do you know um, if they've updated the standards to reflect the states that are adopting I think they are working on all of that because I know that they, because a lot of our Texas ones changed recently and they were working on updating all that too. So they're, con they're continually working on that. And when you do contact BrainPop to ask them those questions, they are super good about getting back with you. And I, and, and Brain, and I, I do side stuff for BrainPop, but I volunteer. So it's just because I love BrainPop. So BrainPop is not paying me to be here. They're, you know, they're, I just am so, I just love BrainPop. It's fantastic. We have a system wide yes. search in, in, our, in our district for K through 8. And, um, Brain pop and it's been underused. Right. And I'm trying to decide whether to keep it or not. Right. But I, I think it's a great resource. I just haven't looked at it real closely lately. Exactly. So and, that's what, and that's when I do talk to other teachers. They're like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize I had closed captioning. Oh my goodness, I didn't realize I could do this other thing with the, with the product. Because it is. Because some people just put it on as a six-minute movie, and then there's so much more that's there. Yeah. I was just noticing on the on the drop-down for where you select, there is a Common Core State standard. Like they've been working, they have. So there are some, some on there. And they also have an ESL um, se section also. Yes. And my my question is, does the regular brain pop also have caption ability? The brain pop regular? Yes. Yes. So that's a little bit about Brain Pop Junior. So then Brain Pop. And of course, now Brain Pop is for three through five. So um, it's a little bit higher level thinking, and it has Tim and Moby. And what's really and what's really great about Brain Pop too is they're continually taking ideas and creating movies. So they come out with movies all the time. That's what that's geared towards whatever you might be working on. So you can email them with ideas. Or for Tim and Moby, have you guys used Tim and Moby before? <coughs> they have the little questions. Those are submitted by a lot of times by students. So. A little movie. There's a little CC button. They know they're indoors. Uh, let's have that letter. Dear Tim and Moby, are penguins only found at the South Pole? From Wellington. Nope, penguins live all over the. So you're able to make it bigger, and you're able to add the closed caption to this also. And then um, on related topics, it's got South Pole, oceans, dolphins, birds. And then it has, of course, we're in the science notebook. Um, but it also at the bottom, it has the quiz activities. And it has, this one has an experiment. FYI is really cool because it gives more in-depth information. So graph stats and numbers. <coughs> Take a look at these stats about the Imperial, um, um, Emperor Penguin. So this gives even more information. So if you're working on research um, products with your lower level, I with your third to fifth graders, what a great resource this is for them to go to. I do destination imagination in the afternoons because I I absolutely love my classroom, but I need to work with students outside of who I usually work with. So I do DI, and my kids, whenever they started building stuff, went first to Brain Pop. They're like, okay, how do you how does this system go together? Because Brain Pop has some great videos of understanding different topics. Yes? Does Brain Pop just automatically change one each week, or is there a, a group where you can go in and pick what you want? No, uh, the, the, all the movies are available if you have a subscription, but every week they change out the movie of the week. And a lot of times, the movie of the week depends on what's happening in that time period. Um, like around Cinco de Mayo time, they'll usually have like, a video over Spanish information or Cinco de Mayo. So that's, so that's really convenient that a lot of times whatever's going on the calendar, it goes along with um, the video of the week. Okay. So it's an, you know, like President's Day, it was one over the President's, which is really cool. And then they have the experiment. So it tells you what you'll need and what, how big is this, that kids can go off and do something different. 
on their own, say, okay, go to Brain Pop, do this experiment, and let them figure it out for themselves. Or do it as a class. But this one too. Now, Brain Pop does not read to you like Brain Pop Junior does. Um, but you can go into science if you want to go to the science notebook, you went to science, and then it has cellular life, it has it all divided into different groups. So say I want to learn about more about energy, so I go to the energy group, and it's going to have all my movies that focus on energy. Rainbows. This one actually is not free um, right now. But you go. Oh. Ginger, can I just say something? Andrew? Yes. Can I say something? Yes. This is a little sneaky, but none of us have money. And um, one of the things we've done is like I team teach for <coughs> the teachers. And because I think they offer like a one week or two week subscription for free. And if there's something we really want to teach our unit, maybe one week I take the two-week free subscription and then next week somebody else in my team does the two-week free subscription. Well, I, I, like I, said, I love talking about Brain Pop. And um, I, this last year I've been super lucky because I've been named um, Teacher of the Year and also for Texas and then also National School Board Association between educators to watch. And because of that, though, the reason I got that is actually because Brain Pop, Carrie, Dr. Carrie Stubbs really helped me get that far in doing that. And so this year I've been talking to her because she actually lives in Kansas. I said, oh, I said, Carrie, you need to have Brain Pop here at, here at Podstock because these educators are so cool. They're doing some fantastic things. So this year Brain Pop actually became a sponsor. So that's why I'm like, yay for Brain Pop. So there's a lot of really cool free stuff, but they also offer a lot of really cool opportunities for a fairly for a, a good price if you have grants. And there are ways to write grants, and there are ways to do, use the free trial. Um, but there's a lot of free stuff available also. So these are all the, um, this is all the free stuff in this one. Here's one about blogs. And then the related topics are online safety, internet, email, and IM, and computer. So those are all the different free ones on that one. Yes. I wanted to say something. I know you said in the beginning, which is true, it's flash based. I'm having really good luck on my iPad. Fantastic. Puffin Browner. Puffin Browner? Puffin. P U F F I N? Yes. Okay, so he's up here used actually on the Brain Pop website using the Puffin browser. I haven't looked at that one yet. Yeah, everything you're doing, I'm following along with you. It's working really well, actually. One of oh, the best fantastic. sites I've seen. Okay. Have you tried it with Rover? Um, you know, Rover I've used a little bit. Um, I haven't used Rover very much. So I'm going to Google that real fast so I can. Okay, so I think we're And I'll tweet, 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 tweet that out. I'll be sorry. Fantastic. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look at the time that says something about your score. Mm -hmm. When students go on and they take the test, does it record it under their login or does it record it on the device? It records on the device. And, and, you, can, and you can print it out also. And they can email it to you. And too. you can also email it, yes. So you can reset it every time. Yes, and, and, it, will, and it will reset every time because you, you don't necessarily have each kid. Like, I just logged on as my school. Not each kiddo has a log on. So. In the movie of the week, yes, we're going to the app. Yeah, there's, and they just came out with the Brain Pop Junior app also. And I like I love, Brain Pop has so many cool things. So, I said, I love Brain Pop and I love Brain Pop Junior, but Game Up is the next thing they're working on, what, what they've been working on. It is the coolest website, and it's definitely for some of our older kiddos because um, they're older, you have to think. Have you have you looked at these? Not really, but my, my son my son is uh, he's going in fifth grade this year, but he's autistic, and he is just fascinated by Brain Pop. He's obsessed with Brain Pop. Because Brain Pop, every, every, every week he has to watch the movie. I mean, in school he just I need to watch the next, you know. And it's exactly. Like, you gotta just wait. <laughs> exactly. Well, Game Up, 
Um, I got to do a couple of the different games when they first started coming out with this. And some of these games are really tough. <laughs> like, they're tough for me, but they're great for kids because it's a lot of critical thinking skills. But I want to show you guys one of the math games. Battleship number line. So this one, I know that we're always working on number lines. So this one, I just want to do whole numbers. So it's on me, skip spot at 10, so I have to figure out where 10 is. Wait, hold on. Oh, I missed it, because I have to kind of figure out where 10 might be. 25. harder as it goes along. from we're about to get ready for lunch is actually when I do mine. So that's the good time when we're, some of us are washing hands, some of us are going to the bathroom. So about 15, 20 minutes before lunchtime, I put brain pop up on the screen and we do different activities with it then. Because just kind of, and we also do, and sometimes we do it right before school ends also. So just kind of, it's really, for me in my classroom, it's really good for transition time. Because okay. the kids will sit and, and watch it because it's a fun really, a cool cartoon, but they don't realize how much more they're getting out of it. Yeah. So, so that one was that one was um, Battleship Number Line. Um, oh, but all these games I came up, they are free. This this is totally free right here. Uh, so I haven't got to play all of them yet. Um, but over here on the side, it has science games, math games, social studies games, and health games. There's actually a really hard health game that. Nuclear power. So are these standards related as well? No, that's a that's a very good question. There's lesson ideas. I just didn't know if this was, you know. Right. Like the Did you click on the lesson? Did you just click on the lesson ideas? I did not. I will run that. Oh no. oh no no, this is free. This is Brain Pop Educators. Okay, so this one. There was objectives at the top, but it said. Oh, okay. What grades to use it with? And well, this, well, this does um, understand the basic geometry concepts related to angles. So you do have, not necessarily based directly with like your state standards, but there are some standards in there. Yeah. So there are a ton of really cool free games. Like, these are really critical thinking games. That number line game was awesome, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> you know, especially since it does figure out where you're at. And so if you kept getting them wrong, it's going to keep giving you easier numbers. But as soon as I started getting them right, and my accuracy got better, then the numbers got harder. So I had to figure out where they were. And it was also with fractions and uh, decimals. Andrea? Yes. Can you access these Game Up games through the Brain Pop app? <laughs> you know, you know I, I don't know if you can put, I think you can on the Puffin browser. Are you able to play them on the Puffin browser? The Game Up I app? I just didn't know if they were embedded in the app. No, it's not in the app. I don't know where it is. Um, I don't think you can in the app. There's like so they're working on all those different things right now. Oh, the game up brainpop.com slash games. Right, right. Uh, brainpop.games slash brainpop.com slash games. 
I said, with my, with, since I have my classroom, I've played with the, the app a lot, um, but I haven't necessarily played with the app like through the Puppet Browser or through Rover on my iPad, because I, I put it on my screen. These are all very good questions. But I, see, that's what's great about Podstock, is I love learning and going along, too. <laughs> I always learn something new. Just about to use the Podstock So since we are talking, we have talked a little about the Brain Pump app. So on the Brain Pop app, both the Brain Pop app is free, and like I said, they just came out with Brain Pop Junior about three weeks ago for the movie of the week. You can watch the movie, you can take the quiz, you can see your scores, and then relate them to movies. Because if you do have a subscription, you can watch the movies on your app, on your app, which is really nice. Um, I said they just came out with the Brain Pop Junior one. Which has a play movie features and scores. So that's a great role. And I said it's free. So So you saw me log into the Brain Pop Educators. Does anybody have a Brain Pop Educators account? I do. It's free too. And so I love I love free things. What's great about um, Brain Pop Educators is I see you can sign in. Okay. There's different um, blogs. There's Follow Friday. There's also a curriculum calendar. So these two right here are some things that they're focusing on on their website. But you can go in. Yes. Yes. There's a brain pop calendar that you can print off. Um, you can do it. No. I think the internet might be down. Oh no, she's like slow. But what's cool about the brain pop calendar? If you print it off, each day it says, "Oh look, August 1st is William Clark's birthday, 1770," and then it has two different kind of um, movies that would go along with that. So this one is Declaration of Independence Adopted 1776 on August 2nd. So, which is um, Barack, Obama, Barack Obama's birthday is 1961 on August 4th. So really cool little tidbits of information. <laughs> and then what also says Louis Armstrong's birthday, 1901. <laughs> But you can, um, but then it has the movies that go along with that, like Presidential Power and Louis Armstrong. So you can go in and find out even more information about what's happening at that day. And well, how great is that too? In my classroom, we work on calendar skills, so it can be a job for somebody to say, okay, what is, what was happening today? What's the movie that goes with it? And have them go figure out what we're supposed to watch that day. And the lesson plan ideas, there's, you can search for the subject and the grade, and it brings up lesson plan ideas. There's a curriculum calendar. You can add your own brain pop button to your website. Here's information for your um, administrators for funding and for research, so you can go in there and look at that. Because isn't the research provided allow you to qualify for Title I funds for this? I'm pretty sure. Probably so, yes. Um, for newbies, you can go in here. There's getting started. There's video tours, tutorials. There's webinars. Um, every Wednesday, actually, they do have a free webinar that you can attend. Um, there's ideas for integration. Oh, let's go to subscription info. Yes, and parents can buy subscriptions also. Yes, yep. 
So let's look at, um, we were, talking about, were we were talking about schools or classrooms earlier? Schools, right? We found it like 14, $15 for a school. For a school, yeah, it was Classroom, for right. uh, Classroom, though, on that 205 is for three computers. Yeah. So this one is Brain Pop Junior, 4K to 3, um, and it would be for the whole school, it would be for $1,200. But they get to the whole school, and it gets all the teachers are able to use it, all the students are able to use it. Um, I said there are grants out there. I've written grants this la these last four years. I've written different grants for webcams in my classroom. And um, um, oh, we've also done, I've done an iPad, and I've done, oh goodness, Wiimotes. I made interactive whiteboards using uh, Wiimotes. But there's also a lot of really cool companies out there that if you don't mind asking, they're willing to work with you. You just have to ask. You just have to go say, hey, you know what? I really want this for my classroom. Can you help me out? Because all they can do is say no. You know, and then what have you lost? Nothing. You just been a teacher, like Brad said, that's passionate. If you're pa like I'm passionate about Rain Pop because I see what's done for my kids. I've seen it increase my students' language. It increases their sitting skills and their listening skills because they're watching what is actually happening. So I said I'm very passionate about Rain Pop. So if my school district didn't provide it, I would find a way to get it because it's amazing. So everybody in that school would use the same login. Yes. Okay. Yes. For a classroom, like in my classroom, I have three computers. So for $145, I could have Brain Pop Junior K-3 in my classroom. Which, like I said, which is super easy to write a grant or ask a company to, I said, how I got my iPad this year is I asked a company to say, I said, hey, you know what, I need, I would like an iPad for my classroom, this is why I'd like it. And I found a private donor this year, because all I did was ask. Because like, there's doctor's offices, there's some, like, there's some great companies out there that all you have to do is ask, and all they can do is say no. But at least you've asked. Thank you. Yes? You know we're all out here you know, doing piracy trying to figure out how to <laughs> maximize, maximize our dollars. This is true, this is true, but Brain Pop is a fantastic sponsor of Pod Thought, too, I though. <laughs> Don't put me on the spot. But, no, I know, I, I'm not trying to. Yeah, she'll kill me later for my... What I'm trying to figure, I'm trying to figure out technology-wise is, okay, if we're talking three computers, how does it know? Um, is it, it does limited know. to the, the number? It does know. Because I did... Whether, whether only three users the can log in at one time, or are or is it, it knows associated with it's, an IP address or something? At least it can I, it used to be at least within a twenty four hour period because when Brain Pop was newer and cheaper, I had another teacher and I, we would put up the money ourselves, she paid half and I paid half. And we I think we cheated and bought a home thing because it was a hundred dollars and we could afford that. Right. But it was like three computers and it was fun it was interesting because a couple of us shared then that login and if like three of us had logged on that day, the fourth person Somehow it knew. I don't know if it does IP or what. I think it's IP. I mean, like I said earlier, we have a system-wide um, subscription, and we've got it associated so that we don't have to log in from inside our network. Right, right. Know, because it's IP Which is super convenient. And yes. then we have a separate login and password for home use. Right. And so, obviously, there's a not IP associated, you know, thing that goes along with that. Right. But, um, so, yeah. Okay. That's all. But, yeah, but if you contact them, they can definitely work with you and... You can call and talk to them and see how they can work with your school and what they can offer. Um, so they're super, they're super nice. I love all the brain pop people. They're fantastic. They're super funny, and they're, I just love them. All right. So the last thing I want to show you guys is the Lure of the Labyrinth, which is a, another really cool game that they're kind of promoting. Okay. And this one, um, it's I got to play it a little bit. It's pretty interesting. But the kids have to figure out the different ways to get through the labyrinth. And there was a competition going on at one time to see who could get through the, of the labyrinth. And there was um, whoever won got to actually go to Washington, D.C. Um, but it's a really, really, really cool game to, to play through. Let's see if we can. Oh, this is not on the Green Cup site. Um, actually, this is, if you go to Game Up, it actually is on the Game Up website. 
And it's um, under. So it has a little um, comic strip, which is great too because sometimes kids watch Annie and Moby or Tim and Moby they're like, oh my gosh, I don't want to watch a little robot. Um, oh, so, but then it doesn't give you directions, you have to figure out what it wants you to do. Thirty-six. But, oh. oh, but it wasn't right though. I didn't do it right. So, oh, but, oh, you know what I thought? I bet. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. 